Okay, let's now go ahead and fix an issue where the search value is being lost whenever we navigate between these pages. So let's try to understand what's actually happening in here and then we will go ahead and fix it. So let's open up our code editor and here as you can see I have the pagination component opened and on our pagination component we have these links defined and whenever we click on any of the link then we go ahead and execute this update page number method and we are passing the link to that method and on that method as you can see we are grabbing the page number and we are manually visiting that page which is the students route and we are passing that page so obviously uh, the state of the search input will be lost whenever we click on any of the pages so yeah we need a way to retain that search value and we also need to make sure that the pagination is working properly so let's try to understand how we will fix this and then we will go ahead and fix it so as you can see in here we have this update page number defined on the pagination dot view but we want to shift this into our index dot view and that way we can keep track of the page number along with the search value because we have these states defined on our index dot view so what we will be doing here is we will be defining this and shifting this to our index dot view and we will be passing that as a prop to this pagination component and we will execute that when the user clicks on the button so let's go ahead and do that actually let's start working on this so here we have the students URL. we are watching for this and let's define a new method somewhere in here so i'll just define a new method called updated page number and this will receive a link and this is almost going to be similar to this method that we have defined over here with a few changes here and there so this will receive the link let's now go ahead and define the body of this and since we are now defining this on our index dot view we can actually reference this page number that we defined in the previous video and here as you can see we are referencing this page number on our students url computed property and yeah we can basically reference this over here as well and whenever the search value or the page number changes then the state is going to be reflected accordingly because we are on the same component so yeah let's go ahead and assign the page number dot value with whatever we have defined over here so we just want to grab the first index of the link dot url object and we want to split it by the equal to sign to grab the page number and we want to assign that to the page number that we have defined over here so let's go ahead and pass that and yeah this is the implementation that we want to do over here and here we will be receiving that as a prop so let's go ahead and pass that first so on our pagination let's pass that function as a prop so here we are passing the data and along with that let's also pass the updated page number and if the prop and the key are same we can basically do something like this i don't exactly remember but yeah i think this is the syntax or i don't exactly remember so instead of passing it like this i'll just pass the updated page number method and again to demonstrate this properly uh, what i will do is i'll just go ahead and comment this out for now and i'll just log something in here so let's log the link dot url in here and yeah one more thing to note here is we are defining this on our index dot view and we are passing that as a prop to our pagination dot view component okay let's navigate to that and let's now go ahead and receive that value on our pagination dot view so we can get rid of this code and we can receive that updated page number which is a type of function and is required and whenever we click on the button that we have over here which are basically links we can pass that updated page number and we will also pass the link to it 
and here we have set up the index dot view accordingly we have defined this method and we are just logging whatever value gets passed from here and yeah let's go ahead and give this a try so let's reload and let's open up the inspector let's open up the console tab and if i go ahead and click on three then as you can see the link is being dumped in here so we are basically defining the logic to grab the page number on our index component instead of the pagination component and this will allow us to basically override this page number state that we have defined on our index.view and whenever we reassign this in here then that state will be reflected on other areas accordingly since we are on the same component so yeah let's go ahead and give this a try so we have the page number dot value where we are assigning this to whatever gets returned from here and then we are computing the student's url and along with that we are also appending the page which is this page number dot value and if we have the search dot value present then we are appending that as well so yeah let's go ahead and give this a try so i'll just reload and we are currently on page two so let's go ahead and search something i'll type doctor and as you can see you have 15 results and we are currently rendering 10 records so if i go ahead and navigate to page two then as you can see the search value is being retained in here and we are now navigated to page two so yeah this was something that i wanted to fix because if we don't fix these small issues then the user won't get a good user experience so yeah i hope that this was helpful and you can now apply this for other improvements as well if you have any other filters that you are applying then you can use this approach to retain the state accordingly of your page so yeah that's it for this section and i'll see you guys in the next one